Hi kids, welcome back. Inverted Cow here. Um, what you're looking at is the inside of a labyrinth that's been almost completely cleaned out. I say almost completely cleaned out because if you'll notice my tools are all almost exhausted. So I figured I'm going to let these things heal a little bit and uh, we'll take a quick look of boo around the whole server and see how things have been happening the last two or three days while I've been digging this hole. And in case you're wondering how I clear out a labyrinth, wand of equal trade, turn everything to dirt. Pump the resources into uh, sorter and into the ME. If there's anything I want to sort out, I put those into the sorter and everything else goes right back into the ME. Um, and if you happen to be one of those kind of guys like me who likes having access to inventory when you're on a job site. This is my inventory thing. It's the same setup you'll recognize from my banking videos. Um, I've been having a lot of problem with these test racks lately. I'll set them up so that this side is open and the other side is open and they'll be working just fine. And then I'll have everything working just great and then all of a sudden for no reason whatsoever it stops the pipe goes red the test rack doesn't input nothing functions I don't know if it's a test rack bug if it's a bug with the um, the current version what it is um, I haven't figured out a, a way to fix it yet it's kind of a thing it just it does it on its own um, usually happens to me when I'm in an area that's got an unstable chunk load that is like I've got a spot loader I'll put a spot loader down or something and it'll be working but if I'm in an area where I'm not here or I'm here all the time and I'm doing a lot of work and I'm lagging it a lot it tends to get free flaky so we're not entirely sure if it's just that or if it's just something I've had it work for weeks with never an issue and then all of a sudden one day it just starts acting up so that's how it looks to you around the rest of the world and if you ever really wanted to see the actual size of one of these uh, labyrinths this is a completely cleared off labyrinth looking at it from the map because obviously you can't see it from from flight it's actually a fairly large structure. Um, I think it's almost the size, if not bigger, than our our main town. So that's why I figure if I'm going to build a place, I'm building a base. I'm going to build a base on top of one of these things because literally I quarry it off and. Yeah, um, you got a, a bedrock box that is large enough to do pretty much any base you want to build. Okay, here we are back in the main town. Um, as you can see by the floating lights and sources and such around me, Mouse has been busy. Um, this wall was put up just as a temporary measure to give a little bit of definition and structure to something that she was trying to build. And she's been at this for a couple of days now. What she has done is she's made this um, uh, structure around the, the twilight portal and the, the, the nether portal. Um, that's her actually starting to tear the wall down over there. Uh, she's just taking a bit of a break today. Uh, she's put in some nice pathways. It's actually it's starting to look really sharp up here. Um, we've had a few of the other guys come back on the server on and off, so you know, we'll take a look see what they're doing. Okay, what we have here is... Uh, Chris is 
building a, a zoo here, I believe. Um, again, this is a fairly large build. Uh, it's, it's nice to see the guys actually getting into doing some big builds. Um, he's been at this for about a week or so now. Uh, he's slowly working away at it. It's, you know, it's time consuming doing some builds on, on, online, especially large ones. And he likes to do a lot of detail, so I expect this to be absolutely awesome when it's done. Um, for now, we're just seeing a lot of outline and rough structure, so let's keep our eyes on this one and see how it goes. Take a look around what else we can find. Well, here we are at uh, Mr. Booth's house. Um, we do ask these guys to keep within visual range of another build so that uh, it helps. So some of them have been adhering to that fairly stringently. Others have been stretching the rules a little bit. Others have completely disregarded altogether, as I said on a previous video. Um, so let's have a look, see around Mr. Booster's house. Uh, Boost has only been on for a couple of days. He's come and gone. Um, he was one of our admins on the previous version, and uh, I kind of like what he's doing here. The, the kitchen, I'm guessing the kitchen look. The zombie head, I love the little the way he's using that counter. He has a good eye for details that I, I really find amazing. Um, I love these round windows. Um, but like I said, he's only been on a few a few times, played a couple of days here and there. So we'll see. I mean, maybe he'll come back and do something really amazing. All right, let's go find something else. Well, here we are at a place that Hergoon was working on. Uh, he's our server IT guy, does a lot of the ME stuff for us. Um, again, this is just more of a shell right now. It actually looks really kind of cool from the air more than anything. Kind of interested to see what he does with it. I lo love the way these guys are working on around structures. This was a hilltop overlooking my tree farm that I had actually been eyeing to do a build on anyway, so I'm kind of glad to see that somebody else took the initiative and did something. <clears throat> and here we are again at one of my builds. Uh, this is uh, a fun build I'm doing. It's just an airport. Uh, or it will be just an airport. Uh, you can always tell one of my builds because I put these little torrent guys up everywhere because honestly, I'm tired of creepers blowing my stuff up. And the torrents don't always get everything. This was a bit of a garden. Um, and so, it happens. All right. And here's why I was quarrying out all that nice little labyrinth is I'm using the quarried stone or the uh, stone labyrinth stone for the runway on my little airport here. I'll be putting in a helicopter pad and, and some tarmac and whatnot later. Um, I'm working on a quarry that's got some quarried stone. I'm going to use the white quarried stone for the runway lines in the middle and whatnot. Now this is actually going to be a fairly large build. And it's, I'm trying to stretch out to a witch hut uh, that I want to do a vanilla build on way out this way. Uh, I'm talking three or four thousand piles out this way. Uh, I'm currently using quarries to harvest uh, the entire area 200 squares around. Because I want to do a vanilla witch hut build just for fun. So this is just a fun build, me wasting time and resources building um, 
an airport just to stretch out this way. Now you'll see these two markers on the thing where I got the quarried stone happening. Those two are actually close enough now that when I'm finished this airport runway and I put the lights and stuff up on this hill they will be visible and that will be the next spot where I'll do a build and I don't know what I'll do there but we'll see. Um, I'm going to keep pushing myself out until I get way out where I want to go. So here we have it from International Cow Airport, <laughs> or I guess that would be Cow International Airport. This is Inverted Cow saying, catch you all later.